Hey guys, how you doing? So as you see, I have a friction folder, and uh, this is a funny story again. Remember when when I mentioned that when we are together with Jeff, we sometimes have these moments where we just come up with pretty cool ideas. You know, one you know adds to another, and we just keep adding, adding and adding. And uh, you know, two two knife knife addicts, knife makers together, they can come up with some pretty cool stuff. And Jeff mentioned on the way home, like, have you ever thought of like doing the EDC and kind of doing a friction folder out of it? And uh, he also mentioned that they imagine that you would have the same set of scales and it would be a friction folder and a fixed blade at the same time. And we started thinking about how, how we would do it, how it could be done. And uh, uh, it was pretty cool. So the idea was that we, it would be cut into the friction folder, you know, the, obviously the pivot hole would have to be closer to the blade. And uh, I also realized right there in the car that the handle would have to be different because this is too narrow and it, it couldn't be done in a way that it would be the same exact blade. So, so the idea from Jeff was have a friction folder, scales, and this tank would just like, you know, it would be a piece of steel or titanium that would kind of slide in there. And, uh, you know, you would take, take it apart, put this in and turn it into a fixed blade. And, uh, Yesterday or today, I actually talked to Kylie and I mentioned, like, check this out, Kylie. We had this really pretty cool idea, crazy idea with Jeff that EDC and it will be friction folder and fixed blade. And he's thinking, like, but what's the difference between that and the regular fixed, uh, friction folder when uh, you would put the stop in, the second stop in that turns it into the fixed blade? And what I said was, well, that's a nice thing, but I really hate using a folders hard for one reason and one reason only the gap between the in the handle you know, no matter how small it is no matter how contour it is you know even if you chamfer inside there is still a gap and you can feel when you really use a uh, knife hard you know wood carving and stuff like that you can definitely feel it on the top and on the bottom that that gap digs into your skin and it is uncomfortable so that was my main reasoning why and also the cool factor you know that kind of new thing I never seen or heard about something like that and uh, because that's that's pretty neat and how would you go around it so I explained it to him and then I realized but oh there is one problem now I would I was planning on a stop like a uh, standoffs in the back now what that creates is again I have to actually take the knife apart have a uh, like a bushings with the with the standoffs ready and they have to be swapped so I said, what if you would do just a backspacer and then piece, you know, kind of three-piece setup. So you handle scales, blade, backspacer, and a filler, fuller for this, and a filler, you know, filling piece. And I said, that's awesome. And I, right away I had all different ideas what, what I can do with it. So here's a friction folder. You see the handle is a little different. It's, it's on the downward angle, so you have actually pretty nice angle from the way you hold it, blade, automatically comes down so it gives you you know positive angle for cutting and this guys comes to place regular friction folder nice and small about the size of the EDC pretty much just different angles you can see that and these guys come in the place this is just a very very highly sophisticated prototype with the G10 <laughs> So the idea is that you have this spacer that on its own can be actually just like a keychain. So you have a you have a linear, you have a little bit of linear as a keychain. You have one of these pins on it, and uh, this could have you know kind of like a bottle opener here. You could have this wrench set on the inside. You could have an oxygen key, oxygen oxygen hole inside. A bunch of different things would, could actually fit if this would be titanium. You know, it's plenty strong, it has a cool factor, interesting shape, and uh, it weighs nothing. But what it does is, when you slide it from the bottom, just like so, it kind of like a puzzle connects everything together. I just slide it wrong, but... You see how I retracted it, I just pushed on it carefully and it slides, but it would be titanium, I wouldn't have to be you know, careful, you just push on it and it slides it out. So put it all the way in, click it in the place, take your linear, slide, slide it in, and I think it's a little, is it off? 
I don't know why it doesn't go now. Yep, there you go. So slide it in. And right now, that little spacer up front is connected kind of like a puzzle with the blade, handles, backspacer all together. So essentially this is, again it's G10 so it flexes, essentially this is a, this is a fixed blade because you have the star pin, this pin and all together inside. So it's a fixed blade and it's all contoured nicely. Again, don't pay attention to the bottom because that's that highly sophisticated prototype. <laughs> but you have a fixed blade, very comfortable handle without any gaps and anything and you know, nice solid little knife. To take it apart, you just take this off, slide this out, take your inside and you have a fixed blade again and, and uh, backspacer which is like a tool on its own. So that's pretty cool, not backspacer filler. Now, why? Why this? For a couple of reasons. There's a lot of countries where friction folders are pretty much the only legal folders that you could carry. For one main main reason. Another reason also not everybody would want to carry a fixed blade even though it's something small like this. Just because of the convenience. It's just not very convenient for some people and uh, also illegal. And this way you would have one tool on your own, little keychain tool and a friction folder which is legal almost everywhere even in the cities like New York <laughs> but you can turn it into a nice solid fixed blade that can be used for whatever life throws at you which I think is pretty neat I don't know why this one goes so hard I just really click it in yep. and there you go now this wouldn't have to be like that you could have like all different like uh, you know like a I don't know, so it could be actually stored maybe if, uh, if it was machined or water jet cut. Now this obviously, if I were to do this, it would be probably water jet cut, so I have perfect, perfect fit on everything, which would be awesome. Perfect thicknesses, you know, everything would just come together nicely. Uh, but also it could be done uh, in a way that maybe this, this could click in, you know, your stop and could maybe like click in here or somehow be held in place in this little tool. But I think that this is actually pretty good that you have just small little linear loop that you know essentially could be just drill hole, linear hole here, held it in place there and you just slide it out and use it as a stop in here. Because with the paracord, if you use just the paracord as your fixture for, for, uh, for that stop in here, you know, you don't really feel that paracord, the paracord, this, it just disappears. This is gutted paracord actually, so you wouldn't even mind it there. And it's not, move, it's not going anywhere. So, I, I'm kind of excited about it. It's pretty neat that, you know, pretty neat idea. And again, I mean, this big thanks to Jeff and Kylie, because it was kind of put a couple heads together and come up with pretty neat idea. So let me know what you think, guys. I remember when we were driving with Jeff, we said there's gonna be fiction folder as I as a as F I X Chin fiction like fixed blade <laughs> So I don't know some of you might think that it's silly But I know a lot of people all over the world and I know that their laws are kind of stupid and they suck and this would be a pretty neat solution for them and I don't know and it's something that I can make unlike you know even now I can make folders like frame logs, line logs and stuff like that. And this is this can be made pretty readily. Now if this was titanium it wouldn't be so easy, but I could do it and uh, if I have it water jet cut it shouldn't be an issue at all. It, I just it just has to it just has, I would have to spend some nice time designing it in the card, but it's definitely doable. So let me know what you think guys. Thanks for watching. Take care, stay safe and remember don't cut yourself. <laughs>